YouTube, this is Adama, aka Lilith Astrology, and welcome to my Sun and Sign series. Um, now we're going to do Virgo, who is the sixth sign of the zodiac, right after Leo. So Virgo, the Virgin, that's the symbol of Virgo. So. Virgin in the sense of um, chastity and purity and, you know, do goodness. These are our Virgos, very perfectionist, perfect. Um, everything's in order. Everything is in place. Um, cal calculated, yes, I would say that. Um, these people are ruled by Mercury, um, and they share that with Gemini. Um, so just like Aries and Scorpio, who are co-rulers of Mars, Mercury, um, with Mercury, Gemini and Virgo each represent different things about Mercury. Um, so Virgo is Mercury um, in the sense of um, organization, systems, um, grids, um, anal analytical processes, analyzing but in terms of like uh, I guess math or um, uh, analyzing data um, that's Virgo Mercury energy versus Gemini which is like the fun talkative um, quick um, you know celebrity gossip it, I would consider a Gemini quality Virgo is more um, like a data spreadsheet <laughs> Not to be off offensive to Virgos, but y'all know, like, you guys are the perfectionists of the Zodiac. Um, I mean, you know, Virgos are, are great. Virgos are somebody, they can be something like a copy, someone like a copy editor, um, musician. Um, you know, even though this, this sign is, it doesn't rule creativity, these people are they can become very skilled and good at their craft. So something very technical like music that takes a lot of practice. Michael Jackson, for instance, um, I was just watching a documentary on him the other day, was a Virgo with a Pisces moon. So, you know, he was practicing, 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 practicing. Then he was perfect and was a mutable earth sign. So, you know, unlike Taurus, um, that's a fixed, you know, stuck or steady hard earth sign virgo is more of the earth virgo describes the variety of earth so like i mentioned the word variety with gemini you would um associate that with virgo as well so it's like the different types of flowers and different types of plants and animals and things that are found on earth that's virgo so you know with Virg virgo virgin energy um you get somebody who can handle a lot of different things, a lot of different data, and process it and, and act. So it's very different from you know the other energies that I've described before. It, very unique energy. They offer so much to the world. Um, you know, like I mentioned, Michael Jackson was a Virgo, for instance. They offer so much intelligence and insight and they are the type of person that can pick out mistake in in a you know a good copywriter would be could be a Virgo could be a great copywriter they can just look at a page and pick out all of the spelling mistakes in an instant so Virgo is someone that you would it, it, there's someone great for being a lawyer or a uh, surgeon doctor um, a business person they rule the sixth house, which rules work, which rules routine, which rules duty, um, you know, the everyday mundane things of life or the everyday duties of life, that's Virgo. So they always want to um, do for other people and serve other people. Um, they can, you know, work for a nonprofit and serve other people and serve other people's needs. They're always, like the way that they show love to their family members and other people is through doing things for them and being there for them in a way like you know if you you're a, a male score a male Virgo and your girlfriend's like 
oh, can you, um, you know, help me open this jar? That's a uh, Virgo energy to run over and help her and, and essentially save her. Um, yeah, Virgos are, are great people and they're, they're great people to have around at work, especially if you're doing something very detail oriented and, you know, they, they, they can, they can just produce such amazing things um, and add so much value to the world. As far as compatibility, Scorpio, hands down, is one of the great, the best matches for Virgo. Um, they also have a mytholo myth mythological um, background like Gemini and Scorpio, um, but theirs is more of a love affair. Um, you know, Virgo, Persephone, and the ha Persephone and Hades relationship. Hades falls in love with Persephone and brings her down to Hades and essentially kind of she was kind of like you know captured and ended up falling in love with him and just wanted to be with Hades um, so <laughs> it's kind of a similar you know story when a Virgo and Scorpio meet even if it's on a friend level they find like they just have so much in common it can talk back and forth and you know shoot the shit like they're just they, they feel like they've known this person forever um, uh, Taurus is also a great match, another earth sign. Um, Capricorn, another earth sign is great. Um, and yeah, I mean, they could get along with Geminis as well, I think, since they have a, a co-ruling planet, um, you know, and they can converse and understand each other in a communication way. Um, yeah, Virgos, the Virgin, um, they're a mutable earth sign, great sign, um, one of my best matches and uh that's that's virgo in my sun and sign series this is adama from lilith astrology thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you